Okay, now horizontal circular motion. Okay, this is a type of horizontal circular motion. A ball of mass 0.15 kilogram is attached to one end of a string 0.6 meter long. The ball makes two revolutions per second in a horizontal circle. Okay, calculate the centripetal acceleration of the ball of the ball. Okay, and the magnitude of the tension in the string. All right. Uh, be, uh, okay, what information given here? We have the mass of the ball. Uh, the string is uh, six, 0 0.6 meter long. That should be the radius also. Okay, because the length is actually the radius. Yeah, the length of the string become the radius. Um, okay. Sometimes the length of the string is not the radius. Huh? Sometimes the length of the string is not the radius of the circle. So you must be careful. Uh, so we need to see. Yeah? Sometimes the, the, the length of the string makes an angle theta degree from horizontal or vertical. Uh, so that case, the circle, the radius of the circle is not the length. Okay? So you must be careful. The, sometimes the length is not the radius. This time the length is the radius, yeah, because the length it becomes the radius. Now the ball makes two revolution per second, so this is a uh, revolution per second. Actually, this is the frequency, yeah, uh, two revolution per second. This is the frequency, okay. Uh, this is the frequency. You make two two uh, two revolutions. Uh, make two circle in one second, okay. Now calculate the centripetal acceleration. So question A asks for AC. And then uh, question B asks for the tension in the string. Okay. So let's do one by one. Let's do the A. Okay. So first of all, let us find the A, which uh, we want to find the AC. Okay. The formula for AC is V square over R or r omega square or b omega okay so what information we have here we have the radius already which is the length of the string uh, okay and we have the frequency we don't have the v so uh, but frequency can help us to find the omega uh, okay so let us find the omega first so omega is actually 2 pi f uh, omega is 2 pi f okay uh, 2 pi f okay uh, yeah this is actually frequency yeah uh, because we know uh, he said frequency he makes uh, two revolutions uh, over one second that means what's the what's the meaning of frequency okay maybe i should write maybe i can write over here uh, let me write it out yeah ah okay so Frequency is actually the number of revolutions. The number of revolutions completed. Yeah, completed. Okay. Frequency is the number of revolutions completed in one second. That means in one second, he turned how many times? Yeah, he turned how many times? So, uh, in other words, the meaning of frequency is also RPS. Do you notice that? The meaning of the meaning of frequency the meaning of frequency is also rps uh, yeah the revolution per second uh, so two revolution per second so that's the frequency yeah we can write we can write it as uh, two per second uh, what does it mean by what does it mean by two per second two per second means it make two complete turns he make two complete turns in one second uh, he make two revolutions in one second. Okay, that's RPS. So the 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 meaning of frequency is actually RPS. Yeah, uh, two per sec, two revolution per second, or put as two hertz. Uh, revolution per second is the same meaning as hertz. Yeah. So uh, we can uh, from so since we already have the frequency, we can directly find the. Uh, omega, yeah, we just uh, put inside the equations 2 pi times the frequency 2. So we have um, uh, 
uh, you know, 4 pi uh, radian per second. Uh, yeah, 2 pi radian per second. Uh, so if you actually you look at this, uh, this uh, RPS, to change to to change to you know radian per second uh, we always multiply by we always multiply by 2 pi isn't it uh, if rpm I just want to uh, explain back uh, if rpm revolution per minute we uh, to change to radian per second uh, we how do we do we multiply uh, 2 pi over 60 uh, 2 pi over 60 so rps multiply 2 pi uh, rpm multiply 2 pi over 60 so if you look carefully if you look carefully this rps multiply 2 pi yeah this multiply 2 pi is actually the 2 pi over here ah do you see that frequency is rps frequency is actually rps ah frequency is rps so to get the omega, yeah, you know, this is this is actually the frequency, and this is actually the omega. RPS is actually the frequency. Uh, you multiply two pi, get the omega in radian per second, and that's why the formula for omega you have a two pi there. You see that? Uh, because it's actually multiply two pi, uh, multiply two pi. So that's why it's two pi f, uh, two pi times the frequency in RPS, and you will get the omega in radian per second uh, okay i just want to clarify some things here so now i already have the omega for pi radian per second i will be used in this formula uh, uh, r omega square to get the centripetal acceleration okay so let's calculate uh, the radius is the length of the string 0 0.6 meter 0 0.6 and omega is omega is 4 pi uh, omega is 4 pi so what's the answer for your centripetal acceleration okay let's calculate uh, okay so i got the answer 94.7482 ah uh, 94 Point 0.7482 but better make it in two decimal place because uh, this is the final answer already so put in the decimal place yeah? so 75 yeah, we make it 75 so uh, the unit is meter per second square uh, that's the unit for centripetal acceleration is the answer correct 94.75 94.75 that's correct okay now let's find the tension in the string okay b let's do question b so how to find question how to do question b the tension in the string well okay let's us draw the free boy diagram first okay let us draw the free boy diagram so first of all uh, if you look at the ball here it has the mass yeah okay, the weight yeah mg and it also has uh, this the uh, uh, point mass yeah uh, and then this is the center of the circle okay center of the circle and this is the tension in the string uh, pulling on the this string is pulling on the ball mass yeah ball mass so um, actually this horizontal circular motion cannot be achieved yeah cannot is impossible to achieve um, a really horizontal circular motion you know why because there is no uh, upward force vertical upward force to balance the mg to balance the mg so actually this setup is impossible impossible unless you do it on the uh, surface table where uh, unless you, you do it you do this experiment on the surface table uh, then then you have a like a normal force going upward normal force going upward to support you know to support the weight mg ah okay to support the weight mg so now right now you don't have the the surface table okay so you don't have the normal force you don't have the normal force so this setup is uh, impossible because uh, 
Mg do not have an upward force to cancel to cancel it to support the mass. So what the realistic realistically um, uh, if you you don't have the table to support the Mg, what will happen is it will drop to a cone. You know when you try to make a horizontal horizontal circular motion, it will drop to a cone. So uh, this is the ball. Okay, and um, you know this is the point mass. So what is uh, the force? Okay, this is the force tension, uh, and this is the mg. Ah, uh, so it will make an angle actually. Yeah, realistically, it should make an angle. All right. So your circle now is over here. Uh, your circle. This is a horizontal circle. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, that's why I say the length of the string it is not necessarily the radius of the circle. This time, if you have an angle, let's say the length of the string make an angle theta degree with the vertical axis, vertical axis, uh, then this length is not the radius because the actual circle is below here, and this is the center of circle. Uh, this is center of circle. So your circle is over here. The radius is over here. Uh, for this case. The radius is actually uh, this radius is actually opposite the angle, isn't it? So it is L sine theta, uh, L sine theta instead of instead of L. It's not the L. Uh, for this case, the the radius of circle is the is L sine theta. It's just a component of the length. It's not the length itself. Uh, okay, it's L sine theta. It's not L. But this time our our unrealistic, our unrealistic horizontal circular motion, uh, our unrealistic this one, uh, this length is radius. Yeah, this length happen to be radius. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, for this one, the length is not radius. the The radius is only L sine theta. Okay, because the radius is opposite the angle theta. Ah, so why why the question is why the tension should make an angle? Yeah? Uh, is why is not why you cannot achieve total horizontal? Why uh, the the string become uh, with inclined? It is because we need the vertical you know vertical component of the tension to cancel out the mg. Uh, then it can uh, you know can move in a circle like that. Yeah, because we need. Yeah, we need the this tension can be resolved into two component. Okay, can be resolved into okay how to resolve the angle, how to resolve the tension. Okay, so the angle theta is over here. This is the angle theta. So the angle theta, this one is the theta also. So this one, this uh, y component is t cos theta because it's uh, adjacent to the angle. Uh, and whereas the the x component is uh, t sine theta. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, then only you can have the upward force to, to balance the mg. You see that? Uh, then only you have the upward force to, to balance the mg. Uh, and this t sine theta become the centripetal force. Uh, it become the centripetal force, this one, yeah? The t sine theta. Okay, uh, right now this this setup is unrealistic because this mg do not have an upward force to balance it. But just ignore it. Okay, what I can say is you just ignore the you just ignore the mg. Uh, you just ignore the mg. You just focus on the tension. Uh, you just focus on the tension. All right. For this case, the tension is the uh resultant force towards the center of circle uh, this is the center of circle center of circle so this is the resultant force in x component which become the centripetal force centripetal force uh, for the ball to move in a circular motion okay uh, for this one the centripetal force is t sine theta okay but for this one the the result the centripetal force is the tension itself okay so so okay look at the this one so we just refer to the x component yeah we just refer to the x component okay 
uh, because why, why why we refer to x component because our centripetal acceleration is at that position uh, we should draw a centripetal accelerations towards the center of circle right now at over here uh, oh, at this position our centripetal acceleration is to the right because our center of circle is at the right hand side of the ball right hand side of the ball so our centripetal acceleration is to the right to the right okay and another thing is uh, we should determine uh, same like you know this uh, chapter circular motion is just like the chapter forces you will apply Newton second law Newton second law yeah uh, so we uh, since we have acceleration we need to compare the force we need to compare the force uh, with acceleration same direction with acceleration positive uh, still remember the the things we learned before uh, look at here last time we learned about Newton second law uh, we, when we have now we have the centripetal acceleration we have the centripetal acceleration okay so maybe this one I just want to drag it somewhere yeah one second let me uh, okay tidy up the mess this time we have centripetal acceleration we have the acceleration in the x component and because our center of circle is at the right hand side so our centripetal acceleration is towards the center of circle so our centripetal acceleration is to the right okay to the right so now according to Newton's second law all the forces follow the acceleration we put positive force all the forces opposite the acceleration we put as negative force uh, so we should also we should also uh, put the sign follow acceleration as positive going to the left as negative uh, so look at the x component okay so the x component only has what what force uh, the x component only has the tension uh, tension so the tension is same direction as the acceleration so this tension should put positive uh, okay using the formula newton second law total fx equal to ma but our acceleration is a special acceleration called centripetal acceleration okay and this total fx is actually the fc uh, is actually the centripetal force okay so what force do we have in the x component x component we have the tension okay we have the tension uh, we have the tension and our tension is same direction with centripetal acceleration okay so that's why it, this tension is positive tension uh, it is a positive tension uh, okay uh, do we have a uh, force to the left no there's no force to the left so there's only force to the right and this force tension is same direction with acceleration that's why it's positive positive tension okay uh, so uh, for s component only one force only the tension so no more other forces in the s component so only the tension okay and then equal to m m a c uh, equal to m a c well our mass what is the mass mass is 0 0.15 kilogram uh, so put that into the equation 0 0.15 kilogram our ac is 94.75 94.75 ah so we can get the answer for tension all right okay so what's the answer uh, the tension is a uh, 14.21 newton uh, 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 so what's what's the answer is the answer correct yes that's correct magnitude only yeah Magnitude, I mean, no need direction. So, 14.21 Newton. 14.21, that's correct. Okay? Okay, why we don't do the Y component? Okay? Why do we don't do the Y component? Uh, because Y component, uh, because, you know, because the as, uh, centripetal acceleration is in the X component. 
you see it's in the x component uh, so we only that's why we only do the uh, x component our centripetal force our centripetal force is in the x component it's not in the it's not in the y component uh, our centripetal force is in the x component huh? our centripetal acceleration also inside the x component uh, okay so we only do the x component we don't do the y component y component also actually unrealistic because we don't have an upward force to balance yeah actually actually total fy should equal to zero but this total f equal to zero cannot be established cannot be established because uh there's only one downward force mg there's no upward force uh, there's no upward force so this uh this one is in arrow yeah what i can say is in arrow uh, so but we don't bother about the y component because our centripetal force is in the x component because this is a horizontal circle it's only in the x component our ac our ac our centripetal force all in the x component that's why we only do the x component y component don't bother uh, it's also error because we don't have the upward force to balance it you we cannot achieve total fy equal to zero uh, but if you look at this this example yes this one can achieve uh, this one can achieve uh, total fy equal to zero uh, this one can achieve okay because we have a t cos theta to balance the mg uh, but that's for other questions okay so that's all for these questions uh, i hope you understand and uh, please follow to the next video.